بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ ایوری بڈی از ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ گریٹ دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی اے اسمالر سیشن ریلیٹولی لٹل بٹ آف اے اسمالر سیشن دین دا پریویس ونس سو جس اے لٹل بٹ آف اے ریکیپ وٹ وی ایکچولی ڈسکس ان پاس ٹو سیشنس از بیسکلی مارکیٹ سیگمنٹیشن اینڈ مارکیٹ ٹارگیٹنگ اینڈ مارکیٹ ڈفرینشیشن اینڈ in the market positioning. So, so uh, these four factors we have already discussed, uh, the, these four coordinates, uh, and we have already uh, discussed that how can you actually select your particular uh, segment out of which you can actually target uh, a specific uh, uh, market uh, for your product or the services. Uh, and uh, how can you actually differentiate your product to actually develop uh, a physical and the perceptual belief um, uh, uh, about the product or the service to actually give a certain position of your product or service in the minds of your potential consumers. So uh, we have also discussed that uh, how can these four uh, coordinates, uh, which is the segmentation, targeting and uh, your differentiation uh, as well as uh, your uh, positioning, uh, they can actually uh, develop a certain value uh, within the minds of uh, the consumers. Now, when we talk about uh, the value, uh, what we are actually delivering is uh, the core value that what actually the buyer is buying uh, in the market. Uh, is, is, is your product actually serving the right purpose to the customer or not, right? Uh, so what is your actual product and what is the augmentation on it? So we, what we are going to discuss very shortly is this uh, actual product as well as uh, your augmentation in the very next slide. So when we talk about the actual product and the core customer value, we can, we can see over here in uh, this circle over here is that we have in the middle as a core customer value uh, and from this core customer value what we can actually take out is uh, is this the inner circle that uh, the first circle which is actually this one uh, this is the actual product uh, in which you actually might give a certain features uh, um, you may actually uh, have a certain design a different different design or the packaging the way you are actually packing that uh, that product or the surface uh, not exactly the service but the uh, the product uh, the quality level of the product or the service both the brand name now each of these uh, uh, entities which is the features your design your packaging your quality level your brand name they actually come up with a little bit of a difference. You can actually create a difference over here. The sort of the products that you are making, for example, uh, the, the this EEG-based uh, wheelchair or the prosthetic arm, you can actually, uh, you actually can have a, a, a certain feature which actually the rest of the um, uh, competitors are not offering, uh, right? Uh, given that you have a certain competitors like these. Similarly, um, uh, the, the biometric uh, uh, systems may have may offer some of the features which the rest of the uh, competitors is not offering. If the design matters a lot. If your design actually is different from uh, the other designs, uh, you might have an edge in the market again. So, um, summarizing everything uh, over here, according to the past lectures as well, uh, the actual product may actually be different from uh, the rest of the products or the services based upon uh, these of the entities given over here um, I mean, the features and the design and the packaging and the quality level uh, as far as uh, the augmented product is concerned now the augmentation of the product is basically what extra are you offering other than that your product is offering right what else is embedded in your product right uh, for example uh, if i'm developing um, 
uh, if, if you are developing uh, this biometric based uh, this uh, security system now that actually is a sort of a product or a service which actually is your actual product but when we talk about the after sales services uh, maybe you would like to actually give a certain sort of a warranty over uh, uh, on the biometric based security system you might like to actually add on that we are going to give you the free service uh, or after sales service um, or some of the uh, um, uh, regular checkups on whatever you have implemented within the houses or the industry similarly uh, what you can do is you can offer the product support maybe uh, that if something goes wrong with any of the devices you may actually replace that device within a certain period of time uh, just like uh, most of the refrigerators and the televisions and the air conditioning units and the companies who are actually developing them they actually give out a certain sort of a warranty of one year or two year or three year uh, depending upon what the product is so uh, whenever you're giving the warranty and the after sale services that actually is embedded over and above what the actual product is so the actual product and the augmented product is basically the combination it comes with a deal so if you are only offering the actual product uh, but not uh, giving out the augmented product that may have a smaller edge in the market uh, you might not be able to compete in the market but if you have a strong augmented product and a good uh, an actual product which may actually give out the extra features or uh, maybe some better design so that might actually do the magic and may develop the core value for the customers and change the belief and the perception of the customers uh, to buy your product now when we talk about uh, uh, the perceptions and uh, the level of the products and the services uh, look at these two pictures now these two are the two different entirely different generations of the cell phones uh, over here on the right hand side um, we actually have the older manual uh, cell phones uh, which are which used to we used to use um, around like 15 to 20 years before maybe uh, uh, yes uh, and maybe maybe before that as well uh, on the right hand side over here are the smartphones now uh, just imagine the sort of the value that each of uh, uh, you know the pictures is actually providing where the smartphones over here provide more value than the cell phones uh, the, uh, uh, which are actually the, uh, on the right hand side on the right uh, on the, in the right picture so obviously if you're using a smartphone uh, you can actually configure your emails you can configure uh, most of the things your day-to-day -day matter on your cell phone but over here on uh, uh, in this picture uh, the sort of uh, the configurations of email and other stuff is not possible so obvious this is very obvious thus that this picture over here is actually giving you the most of the value right so <clears throat> when we come on to uh, uh, the uh, once we have understood uh, the value that we are providing to the customer now let's actually see that uh, what sort of the products and service um, classifications can be there uh, right so there are uh, generically two different um, Pro, uh, classifications one is actually the consumer based and the another one is the industrial product right so the consumer product and the industrial product they actually um, seem to uh, they, they actually have a different concept the industrial product is basically uh, the products which you actually use in your product development is basically the industrial product right uh, um, the, as far as the consumer product is which you are actually sending out to the consumer so uh, let's assume if you're using a certain material or raw material uh, in your product uh, to actually develop uh, your product that would the material which you would be using would come into this category which is your industrial product right uh, whereas uh, the product which is actually going towards the consumer that you have actually developed for the consumers is a consumer product and um, these consumer products can further be actually divided into four different categories 
All right. So uh, these four different categories are uh, convenience products and the shopping product and specialty specialty product and unsorted product. Uh, although a little bit of a description is written over here, but I believe that this chart over here is going to give you more better view over this uh, consumer products. Now over here, if we can see that the, the four categories, the convenience product, shopping uh, uh, and the speciality and unsorted, uh, sorry, unsorted uh, we can actually see uh, that uh, over here the, the customer buying behavior in the convenience product is a frequent purchase right frequent purchase a little planning comparison a little comparison of the shopping efforts and low customer involvement right uh, as far as the price is concerned the price is low uh, the distribution is widespread distribution and the convenient locations like stores and all that stuff promotion is basically for the mass uh, masses the market is a mass we I don't need to actually explain what is a mass market again right um, the examples are basically the toothpaste and the uh, magazines and the laundry detergents as far as the shopping is concerned, it actually involves the less frequent purchase, right? Uh, much planning and effort, uh, comparison of brands and on the price, quality, style, right? Uh, price is a little higher because it is branded, right? Uh, although uh, these are also brands, but uh, convenience is also brands, but uh, they actually have a little bit of a, a higher price selective distribution right uh, the distribution is you'll, you'll not find it on the common stores but a few outlets uh, the promotions can be the advertising uh, uh, personal selling by both the producers and the sellers the major appliances television furniture clothing they are actually come and in, fall into this shopping uh, 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 category of the consumer product Similarly, speciality uh, is basically the strong brand preference and the loyalty, uh, special purchase effort, a uh, little comparison of the brand, low price sensitivity and a high price, right? Uh, exclusive uh, distribution uh, means you will not find it anywhere else but just a few outlets, uh, more careful target promotion. Uh, by both the promotion by both the producer uh, whereas the luxury goods come as an example like Rolex watches or maybe Lamborghini and other stuff uh, as far as the unsorted products are concerned the unsorted consumer products uh, contain the little product awareness um, and the knowledge about the product uh, it varies what the price is and how you can actually distribute it. Uh, the, uh, the promotion is aggressive advertising, uh, personal selling uh, and uh, producer seller like life insurance is an example uh, of this thing. So um, if we look at uh, you know, uh, the examples ahead, um, further, this is basically a very good example of the convenience. Your ding dong is available on it's, it's it's for masses it's for anyone um, i can eat it uh, a six years older person can eat it um, uh, i think a six years old kid can eat it uh, but as far as the bonus is concerned it's basically you know uh, it's the detergent is actually available very commonly in the market so that is a convenience product uh, similarly uh, when you go for the shopping products uh, j dot uh, vada uh, and other uh, brands uh, gulamad uh, they are basically a very good example of a shopping uh, product similarly um, uh, your tv sets like lg higher uh, and uh, TCL, uh, they, they, they are actually very good examples of the shopping, pro shopping products. Uh, similarly, when you go to uh, the speciality product, now the speciality product were actually very high price, so specifically the Rolex watch and the Lamborghini. Uh, similarly, the unsorted products were, we saw an example of insurance, so Jubilee Insurance, maybe some uh, any other insurance company, um, 
which EFU, uh, maybe Askriyash Insurance, um, and, and, and there are many, so many insurance companies over here in Pakistan, right? So uh, that would be a very good example of un unswatted products, right? Uh, so uh, that is all. Um, rather, what we can do is we can have a little bit more discussion about what sort of um, category can be there for you uh, people. Um, as far as the wheelchair is concerned, uh, so just specify yourself uh, which category uh, would you actually fall in uh, to uh, maybe uh, that wheelchair um, it's, it's definitely not convenience so uh, I don't think it is a convenient product uh, it doesn't fall in convenience it does not specifically fall on the speciality and I don't think it's going to fall in unsorted product either right so uh, I believe that uh, this the right um category for you would be shopping i believe um but we can actually deliberate on this right uh, we have to uh, brainstorm a little more uh, and see if whether uh, which shopping uh, uh, whether you fall in shopping convenience speciality or unsorted products right um you can discuss this thing me uh, this thing with me uh, later uh, this will come in handy uh, as far as uh, your project is concerned um Similarly, biometrics, uh, when we talk about the biometrics, biometrics um, uh, can be, um, I, I, I don't think it's an unsorted, uh, I don't think it's um, speciality. Uh, my personal opinion would be, again, I think it is, again, you know, uh, shopping. It's not actually convenience either. But we can still deliberate it so, uh, uh, about it. So uh, you can actually uh, either discuss it with me on WhatsApp or maybe maybe we can actually comment it on the YouTube, right? Uh, so that is all for now. Um, I believe that uh, we have covered the majority of... Uh, this market uh, customer driven marketing uh, section the only section that which is left is basically branding and, and the marketing mix um, so till next time uh, take care of yourself uh, clean your hands wash your hands very regularly if you're going out uh, first of all do not go out right um, avoid going out avoid meeting uh, bunch of people just stay back home uh, if you if you if you have to go out this wear the masks right and as soon as you come back from home uh, from outside back home wash your hands cleanse your hands and frequently use sanitizers when you're out there uh, in the market or meeting someone all right so hope to next uh, meet you next time uh, in the next lecture uh, see you and Allah Hafiz and bye-bye.